Hi friends, welcome back to USMLE team. Uh, today's topic is uh, Leoprolid. Uh, this is an important drug for um, your uh, USMLE step one pharmacology. Okay. So before starting this, I would request you to subscribe to our channel and uh, please tell your friends to subscribe. If you have any updates, please tell us. Okay, let me start with this. Uh, Leoprolid acts as an agonist at a pituitary GnRH receptors by interrupting the normal pulsatile stimulation of and thus desensitizing the GnRH receptors. It indirectly down regulates the secretion of gonadotropin salutinizing hormone that is LH and uh, follicular stimulatic hormone that is FSH leading to hypogonadism and thus a dramatic reduction in estradiol and testosterone levels in both the sexes. Uh, this is how this uh, drug acts. Okay. The clinical use uh, an LH or RH, that is a GnRH analog, leoprolid may be used in the treatment of hormone responsive cancers such as a prostate cancer or a breast cancer, estrogen dependent conditions such as endometriosis or uterine fibroids to treat precocious puberty and to control ovarian stimulation in in vitro fertilization. It is considered a possible treatment for paraphilias. Leoprolid has been tested as a treatment for reducing sexual urges in a pedophiles and other cases of paraphilia. High doses are sometimes used to chemically castrate sex offenders. Um, Leoprolid um, is also under investigation for possible use in the treatment of mild to moderate Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's disease. Uh, Leoprolid is also used to treat chronic adrenal diseases in ferrets. Uh, it is, uh, it's also used for treatment of steroid abuse. Leoprolid along with uh, treptorilin and uh, gosadolin are also used to delay the puberty in transgender youth until they are old enough to begin hormone replacement therapy. They are also sometimes used as a superior alternatives to anti-androgen uh, like spironolactones or uh, ciproterone for suppressing testosterone production in a trans woman. Okay, so these are the important uh, points you should know about the Leoprolid. Thank you so much for watching.